Yeah. What was the best part of the idol journey? I think the best part was probably seeing growth in myself as a musician and as a performer, you know. I don't think I was ever pegged as a front runner or anything like that and I just, uh, I kind of, a lot of people probably think, oh, he's the oldest contestant, There's gonna, you're not going to see any growth, you're going to get what you're going to get and uh, I think I, you know, I, I learned a lot from the show, you know, it, it took me out of my comfort zone and, and what happened towards the end was really cool for me to see, so I think that was my favorite part probably. I've been grinding at music for over a decade now, I mean, since I was 18, I just decided that this is what I wanted to do and um, you know it's not an easy it wasn't an easy thing you know and you know when you start getting like 26 25 you know people are like us oh, your you're musician huh? that's what you're gonna do you went to you know and when are you gonna get a, a real job and, and I, uh, I never gave up I just kept I really just felt like I, I could do this you know I really did and uh, and I'm so but yeah I'm ready to work it's pretty much you know I've been they can get me up whenever they want work me as long as they want this is what I've always wanted and, and to have this happen is it's, it's crazy I feel like I'm I'm the luckiest person right now. I feel like I don't know how this is happening to me. I, you know, I never envisioned anything like this. I was just my whole life. My whole life, I just wanted to, uh, you know, make a career in music, whatever that meant. Whether it was a songwriter, you know, just I wanted to be able to support myself only playing music, and uh, never anything like this. This is beyond words. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I guess I see what I've always wanted to see, which is just playing music. It's what I love to do. It's really all I'm good at. Uh, it's, it's what I was born to do. And um, I'm looking forward to, you know, being on the show was tough for me in terms of, you know, it was hard for me. I, I wasn't used to playing cover songs. And, and uh, you know, I, I've written my own, you know, I've had a lot of albums out with my band. And I was used to connecting to my own songs that I put, you know, wrote. And so it took me a while to get used to playing other people's music and, you know, getting used to the cameras and, you know, sing to the red dot, you know, and all that. I was used to just jamming out to people, and then it was this whole, you know, they would, the beginning, you could look at me, I was like, you know, look at, I'm trying to find a camera. So. I think when it went to top three, I said, wow, I guess you have a legitimate shot. You know, it took me, I mean, I, I was really unhappy with myself from about top 12 down to eight. I just was like, not liking what I was doing as a performer. I would go back and be like, that is not you. My, my bandmates would call me like, what are you doing, man? Like, why are you, you look so tight up there, you don't look like yourself. And it, I, I, I came to this realization that I was treating it like a competition. I was worried about other people. I was worried about, can I sing like this person? Oh, I can't hit that note that he's doing. I can't do this, but she's doing. And finally, when it, it was uh, the, it was actually the Teenage Dream performance, Katy Perry. It wasn't the best vocal I did, but for some reason, I just broke loose. And I was like, and my friends called me like, all right, that looked like you. Now, go do your thing, man. Like, start, wake up. And I think, uh, so that's when I kind of felt like I was moving in the right direction. Uh, without my band, Beach Avenue is the only reason I'm here. I mean, uh, without them, I'm not here. There's, I live with them. They're my roommates. They're my best friends. And, uh, you know, they're as talented as can be. So regardless of what happens, I mean, I'm, I know that I'll be putting out an album as myself, but I'll always need a band. And I think Scott knows the connection I have with, you know, my drummer and my guitar player. So I'm hoping that they'll be able to come along with the journey. They're, they're ready for it. Talent-wise, they're there. They can play. And they, you know, they're my, you know, they're kind of, you know, I, when I'm with them, I'm so much more comfortable. When we did our, we did our, um, when I went home and did the parade, we got to play. We hadn't played in like six months, and it just felt like, you know, it felt like home. We were, we killed it. You know, it was, it was so much fun. So I'm, I'm really hoping that they can come along on this ride. It was funny yesterday. I actually snuck in. He was, uh, he was doing his uh, rehearsal, and I snuck through. And they had like, you know, some of the stand-ins were like just on the stage, and I snuck in. And you know, because I knew all the words to his new single, and he saw me out there. I think it like stunned him because I was like just jamming out with him. And because uh, I've been a legitimate fan of Keith Urban's for a long long time into a bunch of his concerts so it took it you know I think it, it was cool at first he wasn't always behind me as a judge I mean not that he was behind me but I think he saw something and it, he wasn't he thought I could do more you know he kept saying man you don't look comfortable up there blah blah and then towards the end when he saw that I think it got him you know I think he was happy to see that and you know it was uh he's a great dude and I can't wait for now because we can't really talk to them much you know outside of the show it's very what you see on the show is is the amount of you know time we have with them so I'm hoping to be able to talk with him because he's a crazy a good musician. Oh, man. I, 
don't know. There's there's so many things I could take from this. You know, that's what you try to do when you get here. You put around the the, the best of everything. Everybody is the best at what they do, and you got to just be like a sponge. I've tried to take in. I've tried to just kind of absorb everything that has been thrown at me. It's it's pretty crazy. You get everybody telling you different things, and I tried to take a little bit of everything, and it's it's really helped me. I've I've gained a, a, a ton of knowledge. Um, about the industry, about music in general, about performing. Uh, you know, I, I'll never be the same musician now. I'm, I'm a whole. You know, if they they up they up your game, for sure.